Welcome to Turning Resistance into Resilience, your ultimate guide for transformation. I'm Eva and I'm your change management and leadership expert. In today's video, I want to share two concepts with you that help you build your resiliency muscle. So let's get into it. Today, you won't believe it, life has just thrown one curveball after the other into my way. And what I need is my bounce back power, resilience. Whether I couldn't find the lead to record the video or set up the mic correctly, it is not about just surviving, it's about thriving in these moments, learning and growing through these moments. And I want you to be part of this journey with me. I'm going to talk about two different strategies, JAM and also the three C's that you can use to get better at resiliency and build resiliency as a capability within your organization as well. When we have resiliency as a skill, we are better leaders, we glue our teams together, and most importantly, we help our organizations to become an innovation powerhouse. So, I didn't come up with these concepts myself, but I'm a big fan and I always, always go back to these two concepts. One, created by the Resiliency Project from U van Gulenberg, and this is a very popular methodology to practice resiliency on a personal level and therefore improve your personal well-being and your happiness. You has come up with GEM as an acronym for gratitude, empathy and mindfulness. And that is something that I practice on a daily basis. It gives me that resiliency foundation that I need when life gets tough. But today, gratitude, it's where we start being a bit more thankful for the things that are in our life. And generally, I look at a general thing that I'm grateful for, something that I have caused or done, and something that someone else has done for me. Then I think about practicing empathy. And empathy is for us to see the world and experience the world through the eyes of someone else. So in order to practice empathy, we want to be a bit kinder to ourselves and to others. So the question I use here is, what can I do today to make someone else's life just that little bit easier? And last but not least, in GEM, we need to practice mindfulness. And my favorite way of doing that is to soak in the moment. So a very simple question in mindfulness practice that you can do in order to help your resilience is to look around you and see if you can notice something new, something that you've never seen before. And with that, we get to the three C's from my very favorite book in that space, Resiliency at Work, by Salvatore Nadi and Deborah Koshaba. The three C's stand for control, commitment, and challenge. Again, I have a couple of questions for you to use to go through the three C's. Resiliency at work should really focus for, on things that are in our circle of control. So if you heard about that, there's things inside of our circle of control that we can influence. And then there are other things that might still worry us, but are outside of our circle of control or influence. So we want to occupy or focus onto the things that are in our circle of control. So the questions that I use for this is, do I have something that is worrying me or bothering me or challenging my resilience? If so, is there something that I can change about this? And if yes, how can I change it? Commitment is then the next one. We always wanna keep our eyes on the prize. And in change management or in leadership, that means understanding your North Star or your business strategy or the big vision and outcome for your change. So when we do the commitment practice, what we're trying to get to is like, what really matters? Do I know what really matters? And what is really important here? And are my actions that I do right now and on a daily basis aligned with that trajectory? Or do I have to correct my course? And then last but not least, it comes back to challenge. Seeing challenge, embracing challenges with a growth mindset. If we don't see challenges for hurdles that we can't overcome, like my lead that I couldn't find or the mic that didn't work, but see them for something where we can learn from it, we can grow from and we can improve ourselves, we find them less threatening. So the questions that I like to pose for you here 
is there a situation, anything that you remember that was challenging? And what did you learn through that situation? And how is that helping you nowadays? So there you have it. That's the three C, control, commitment, and challenge. And the jam practice, gratitude, empathy, and mindfulness. Two really good concepts that help you to get better at resilience. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up and also subscribe. I really try and grow this channel. And what I would like you to do with this video is take this as your resiliency resource. You can come back and then use the questions and prompts for a, a daily practice to journal or just reflect on as well. And if you think this is valuable, maybe share it with a friend. I'll see you in the next video.